So the Baltimore Ravens, they signed Trent Harris. He's an outside linebacker, but it came at a cost. Whenever you add somebody to the roster, you got to take away somebody as well. Um, and this was no different. And the people who they took away, it honestly wasn't surprising at all. But first, let's find out about Trent Harris. I'm not familiar with him or his game, but I let the Ravens tell it. And this was straight from BaltimoreRavens.com. Uh, Harris has been with three NFL teams since entering the league in 2018 as an undrafted free agent from Miami. Uh, his best season was with the Dolphins in 2019 when he played 11 games, made three starts, and finished with 22 tackles and one and a half sacks. The 26-year-old has been with the Giants the past two seasons and has career totals of 34 tackles and two sacks. So, Ravens signed somebody uh, to sort of fill that roster spot since Vince Beagle went down, since Tyus Bowser is still out, and they're pretty thin there. They're, they're pretty thin there. Um... I just think this is more of a uh, just just hold it down uh, until the other guys get back type of thing. Um, honestly, at this point in training camp, I think it's one of those things where it's like, all right, hey, you are going to get the reps. You're going to you're going to get some reps that these other guys would have gotten and whatnot, because when you're thin in an area, then it's it makes it harder to spread out the reps because more guys are going to get more reps since you have. I mean. Yeah, the guys that you have at that thin position, they're going to get more reps because you have less guys. But you want the reps to be spread out as much as they possibly can. So that's why you want as many people at whatever position. So all the workload ain't just on one, two, or three guys and whatnot. You get what I mean? So this is a, it's a small move. Um, again, because depth, depth, and um, depth reps. Because you, you don't want to wear somebody out in training camp. You don't want players worn out. You, you don't want them going into the season all tired and sluggish and dragging. And, oh, man, I don't know if I can do this. You don't want them doing that. So I, I'm cool with it. But now, like we said, this signing, this signing, uh, it comes at a cost. Uh, because the Ravens, they released two players, two undrafted free agents. One of them was Denzel Williams. He was a cornerback. But the other was another Williams, and that being Devin Williams. The wide receiver. Now, from Oregon. I don't know if y'all remember. Anybody that was there uh, with us during the live stream, during the, uh, the preseason game the other night? We said it then. Devin Williams caught a pass. It was nice. He caught a pass like, all right, let's go. And then he fumbled it. And as soon as that happened, I said, oh, man, that's a wrap. I said, that's a wrap. And I said that, and, and then the refs, they, they reviewed it, and they were like, oh, no, 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 he was down, he was down. And I said, still, that's, that's a wrap. And I said, I think I said in the post-game thoughts video yesterday, too. But even though the refs ruled him down, John Harbaugh, that what stuck out in that play to John Harbaugh would be that fumble. And you know John Harbaugh does not play about fumbles. Now, hey, I could be completely wrong about that whole thing, and maybe it just ended up being a numbers game. Maybe the Ravens were like, all right, you know what, um, the numbers ain't working out, and we, we like these receivers more and whatnot, and, and we got to cut a lot of people anyway, so um, you know what, we'll, we'll just cut these guys now. I don't know, man, especially with, um, with Tylen Wallace being out, with James Prochet being out, and they still cut a receiver. I don't know, though. No. Who knows? Um, but yeah, so Devin Williams is out, uh, and he was um, he was somebody that I was I was hoping for would really uh, be a part of this wide receiver competition. Uh, we hadn't really heard much about him during uh, the training camp and whatnot. Um, we hadn't really yeah we really hadn't heard much about him. But uh, but what's crazy we hadn't really heard too much about Shamar. But we've seen him here and there. We've seen him here and then in an open practice. That's when I think he really was doing his thing. Um, but with Devin Williams, we just really hadn't heard too much. Um, so, yeah, man, I just hope that because uh, I know he he has dealt with a lot off the field, a whole lot off the field. Um, so I just hope that uh, he can be in a good mental space. Hopefully he can be in a real good uh, mental space because that's tough, man. That's tough. You you losing people. You 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 lose close friends, and then uh, then you lose your job. Then you lose your job. 
So hopefully, um, him and and Denzel too. Denzel, we hopefully they they can both be in a good uh, headspace, and hopefully this won't be the last opportunity that they get. That'd be nice if we we hear in a couple of days, hey, such and such sign former Ravens undrafted free agent wide receiver Devin Williams, a former Ravens undrafted cornerback Denzel Williams. That'd be cool. That'd be nice to hear. Will it happen? We'll see. Only time will tell. Um, but and we'll see how. How Trent Harris does too uh, as a new Baltimore Raven. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I appreciate y'all. And we out.